And the IPM is going to become even more relevant to its members, it seems to me, because of the speed of change within the industry. We all, we, we all know it's very quick already, but it's going to become exponentially faster, certainly uh, in the world of AI. I was going to ask you a little like bit that. about that. So maybe this is a good time to expand on that, because, of course, fast changing environment, AI, I can't imagine anything faster than that. So where does it go? I, if I knew um, uh, where it was going to go, um, uh, I think I'd probably have been able to retire to uh, the Caribbean by now because it's one of those things that nobody knows where it's going to go. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of the things in Parliament we're struggling to deal with because um, uh, how do you regulate it? How do you legislate for it? Because it's changed out of all recognition even in the space of a year. If you and I had been sitting here just 18 months ago, I doubt we'd have been talking about AI. Mm. Um, uh, and so they're for therefore trying to see where it's going to go in another 18 months is almost impossible. All I know is that um, uh, people need to be on top of that. They need to be on top of the risks and regulation of it, some of which we may come on to talk about later. And fundamental to that is going to be the trade bodies and trade associations that represent them. Um, uh, so the IPM's work is now more vital than ever. Mm -hmm.